Hello folks and welcome back to my next episode. So we're off to explore the Paston Way. It's approximately 30 kilometers between here and Cromer and it weaves its way through North Norfolk landscape known as the Poppy Land. The route takes you across a diverse range of surfaces through quiet lanes, over dirt tracks, a sandy beach, and obviously some disused railway sections. You could do the route in either direction and you can get to either end by train using the regular rail link known as the Bitten Line. But today I'm heading north. Once out of the railway station at North Walsham, head to the Market Square and the Church of St Nicholas. The town is steeped in history, dating back to Anglo-Saxon times. The town sign commemorates the Battle of North Walsham and the Peasants' Revolt of 1381 and its links with Lord Horatio Nelson. The Paston Way takes its name from the Paston family, who in turn took their name from a local village just off the route proper. The route starts at St Nicholas's Church, which is well worth a visit. The church dates back from the 14th century and is distinguished by its partially ruined tower, which once soared to 147 feet. The 14th century porch is highly decorated with colourful ornate carvings. Inside is the tomb of Sir William Paston, who founded nearby Paston School, now Paston Sixth Form College, in 1606. The present red brick building dates from 1766. The school was later attended by Horatio Nelson and Stephen Fry the actor. The school holds more of a special meaning to me because once when I was an air ambulance pilot in 2016 I had the opportunity to land there. Sorry caretaker, I never was one for following the rules. Leaving the church the route heads northwards along the old Munsley Road out of the town. Just a few kilometres out of North Walsham and you come across this, the Nupton Cutting. It's part of the old Norfolk and Suffolk railway line. And then you cross the old canal. The Nupton Cutting, part of the disused railway line, once belonging to the Norfolk and Suffolk Joint Railway and is now owned by the Norfolk County Council, is a designated local nature and butterfly reserve, recording 19 different species of butterfly. More stairs. This is where I'm going to just detour off the Paston Way very briefly to come up and have a look at Norfolk's own stone circle. Yeah, it's not Neolithic. This was actually made just a few years ago.
Coming out from the Napton cutting, the path turns eastwards and the countryside opens up into farmland with beautiful views in all directions. This area of Norfolk has the highest density of flint-built medieval churches in the world and the Paston Way takes in incredible 17. I'm heading off now for lunch at just such a church at Eddingthorpe. I'm here at the church at Eddingthorpe, which is known as All Saints. It's unusual because it's got an octagon tower and a thatched roof. The First World War poet, Siegfried Sassoon, spent many a holiday in and around Eddingthorpe, and he wrote about this church in his autobiography and about the timelessness of this church. Well that's it for part one of this video, join me in the second part as I head to Backton Beach and onward to the final destination, Cromer.